Yo boys, it is DJ House Power here. Today we have the woods as a scenery and it is time. Uh, I've been waiting to make this video. Uh, I've been planning on this video for a long ass time. So getting it finally done and recorded is uh, pretty satisfying honestly. So um, I just want to start by saying this was not the initial location I was going to choose. I was going to go to this, like, abandoned, like, corporate building near me. Uh, but just my luck, as I'm going there, there's two fucking cops sitting out of it. And I was, I, I was like, my only chance is hoping that if I go up to them and I ask, like, hey, is it alright if I go in and they just say yes? They said no. So, I'm here now. Uh, let's think, where do we start? Uh, let's start with the least relevant one. This guy... So this right here is the V1 uh, Monarch clone by Ballyplus. It runs on bearings, and it's one hefty bitch. Very hefty. Uh, before I get into talking about this, one last thing, because I almost forgot. Okay, so... Uh, the cutaway, the quick, uh, thing that I gotta talk about. Uh, we gotta give some shoutouts here, because, honestly, this video wasn't really done of my own volition this time. I kinda got help from a ton of people. If you could go, like, you know, follow them and whatever. So first we have Bogav Bally. Uh, boom, look at, look at his Instagram. This is him. Go follow him. He was the one who lended me the real monarch that is in the video, the V2. So please go go follow him. Go check him out. He's he's cool. He's got some cool knives on his page too. So go look at that shit. Uh, next we have Modern Balasong. Uh, I've needed to shout out Dayton for a long ass time because he's helped me with other videos in the past. Uh, so go follow him. Uh, he gave me the Trainer Clone V2 for a good deal, and he's the homie. We've been friends for a long ass time. Go follow him. Slash two gash, obviously. We all know about slash two gash now. Get your shit quick. If you don't want to wait the full month, slash two gash is the way to go. If you don't want inconsistent bush and quality, slash two gash. You already know. I don't really gotta fucking preach it to you guys. You already know about slash two gash. Okay, we all love slash two gash. And Jeff is funny. I like Jeff. Uh, next we got Flip Shizzle. Okay, this is Gage. Gage is really cool. He didn't actually get the knife out to me, but it's okay, it's the thought that counts. He had some shit that came up, and he just didn't have the ability to get it out, which, no problem, it's all good. But, go follow him anyways, he's a cool dude, and I appreciate the fact that he was willing to send it in the first place. And last but not least, the the big Giga Chad of them all, Flipperoni Spagoni. This man, this absolute Giga Chad, this psychopath, if you will, decided... That instead of just letting me borrow his Bally Plus Monarch, he just goes, hmm, I like it. I think you will like it too. Let me just buy it for you. So please, go follow Flipperoni Spagoni. I have to figure out some way to repay this fucking guy, so go follow him, please. Thank you. That is it for the, the shoutouts, so... Um, back to the video. Sorry for like the two minutes, I'm sorry, my bad. Just go back to the- But this thing's nice. Um, it's definitely heavy. I like it. But I know a lot of you definitely wouldn't. Um, it is very heavy. And I mean, like, really heavy. Like, it's just over 5 ounces. I think it's 5.3, if I remember correctly. So this is a heavy knife, man. Very heavy. Uh, it's good, though. Um, it is handle bias. Uh, you do have all that tip weight, but you got a fuck ton of handle weight. Look at all that. That's a lot. So. As I said, most of you might not like it. You'd probably like the balance, because I know a lot of newer flippers usually prefer handle bias. But the weight, you know, it's another one where it's like it's flipping a fucking coffee table around your fingers. It's heavy. But it's good. The quality is really good. Um, here's a sound and tolerance test.
shit. So, it sound good, has great tolerances, which by the way, I know it has bearings. I know I don't have to do a tolerance check, but there are things such as widening in the channel, which this doesn't have, which if the blade is too thick or if the bearings are, you know, too thin, something like that, then it can give enough wiggle to where there is tap. It does happen. It's very rare that it happens. It doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen on every knife. Hell, it doesn't even happen on every single knife of a particular knife. It could just happen in a few of them. So, things like that are still reasons why you show tolerances. It's just how it is. Now, I will say one thing about these bearings. They are very smooth. Um, it's probably due to the weight and due to the balance, but I don't really feel any bearing roll. Um, which means you would feel the individual ball bearings and you would hear all the clicking and the clacking and the blah 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 blah. Like you noticed with the Fly Tie Lucha. This though... That one's a little tight, but... I usually put my bearings a little tight just to have them wear in better personally, but don't take that advice. Please don't. It's really bad for your bearing knives. It's just what I do because I have a bad habit. So, but I mean, these are hella smooth. Now, I know you've heard it a couple of times now, but there's a loud clack. And when there's a loud clack, you know what that means. The back of the blade hits the inside of the channel. It happens right here, where it swoops up a little bit and then swoops down. That top point right here. It's hitting the inside. You can see it right here, actually, how there's no gap in the holes between the, the inside of the channel. It's very, very close. So when you're hitting it down like that, you're getting that loud clack. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to be modding the shit out of this thing. So, especially for me, it won't matter. I'm going to give it a bigger channel and do a bunch of other things. So, yeah. That'll be later. But, anyways, uh, I tried getting a V1, like a real one, to borrow for comparison. Um, and, honestly, I'm a little happy I didn't. Because this thing flips nothing like a real Monarch. Uh, I don't know what it is, it just doesn't. It's very different. Between the weight, the balance, um, the bearings, everything, it just feels very different. So, looks are deceiving on this one. Uh, and honestly, I have pretty good, ew, pretty good hopes about that handle gap lasting. Um, because it's a fully flat pinsless design, so the handle would have to wear down before the blade, so. But yeah, I like this thing. Uh, I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, so yeah. It's good though. Uh, do I recommend it? No. <laughs> it's too fucking heavy. Uh, and it's a, it's pretty expensive for what you get with it. Um, you know, especially when you could get something like a V2. Now the V2 is something special. The one, you know, you guys have heard what I've been saying about the one lately. They are getting really fucking good. Way too good. Like, way too smooth. Right? Really good tolerances. And, balance. So, these are game-changing. This right here is cracked. Now this right here, the live blade, is so good, so good, so good in fact, that we're going to put it to the side and pick up the trainer. Now the trainer is also very good, but... How much tip weight you got there, Chief? You got a lot of you got a lot of tip weight going on there. You got a little bit, not like a lot, not a ton, but it's noticeable, and it's something that you want to point out. There is not a whole lot of tip weight, so that fan, right? It may look pretty good 
because it is, which is surprising, but it's not as good. And you can feel it. You can feel it a little bit. Teensy bit. There's a teensy bit of handle drag. So, I don't know. Little things like that, I'm going to keep in mind. Not a ton of tip weight, but somehow enough that it can still fan and still flip pretty good. Just not as good as the live blade. Now this, big difference between this and the live blade that I have right now. This has replaced hardware and this has been broken in completely. So you can hear it in the sounds. So you compare that sound of a knife with replaced male pivot screws, which yes, they look fucky, but it's because of the head size, right? But replaced pivot screws, not the females, only the males. And the fact that it's broken in and has been flipped more often. You compare it to this. Right? And you can hear the difference. That is a lot more bouncy in open and close, right? Now this does have bounce, but it's still something, again, even if minute, you want to talk about. The break-in for pinsless ballys is really important. Really, really, really important. A pinsless bally will not have that really nice, satisfying, clacky, super bouncy kind of sound, right? Ooh, almost dropped that. Uh, in open or closed position, right? But, pinsless ballys need to be broken in. Because, when you have a knife, right, pinsless bally, initially, you can actually see it. When I first got it, it was stopping about here, right? Now, that's why the handle gap on this is smaller than, let's say, the other one. You can see it. This is a lot more closed in. This has a little more gap to it. And to prove, here's the squeezing squeezing, right? The live has more of a gap because it's not broken in yet. So, pins and ballys need to be broken in. That's the TLDR. Main point, break in, flip better, sound better. Good. Clones, as we know, need to have replaced hardware. Most of the time. Now, the Monarch, right here, the new The One Monarch V2 clone, Oh my god. Now, it has a different reason for needing to replace hardware. Sound. Sound better. It just... Sound better. But, these screws, the one is finally getting better at screws, and I'm so fucking happy they're finally getting better at putting better screws. Look at the depth. Look at that. Please focus. Look, there's actually depth to the heads now. Like, you can actually put your bit in there and fucking torque it, and it won't strip. Isn't that amazing? Completely opposite to the Orca hardware. Look at that. There's depth. So I can stick the T8 in there and torque it, and it won't destroy itself. And I can actually get, like, tight tolerances, which is good. Now, it's not as tight, or not as tight, not as deep as these aftermarket ones I have, but... You know, that's definitely a big improvement from what they used to be. So, I give big props to that. So you don't need new hardware anymore. You don't need it. I want to make that very clear. You don't need new hardware anymore. Which is great. Awesome. But, I'm um, doing that thing where I sidetrack a lot. Uh, trainer is good. Uh, honestly, flips really good. A lot better than I thought it would. I remember being on Discord when this thing initially dropped and being like, damn... This thing's going to suck. It has no tip weight. But, somehow, you know, 
the lack of handle weight, it just kind of works. You know, you can you can flip this thing. It can fan. Fan's pretty all right. Fan's better than the the Bally Plus One. So, yeah. Genuinely surprised with the trainer. Very surprised, but this thing's very good. I'm a big fan of it. Big, big fan. Um, this thing does have a little bit of wear on it, a little bit of damage. You know, it has been dropped on concrete a couple of times, you know. So, that's just how it is. But, even with that, it's still good. And, tolerances, as I said, have held up. Now, obviously, more handle play, but that's the downside of having a floating washer system. That's going to take time for that shit to break in, same as the pinless uh, design. And once it does, you're going to get a little more handle play. But, thanks to this gigantic channel, there's no tap happening. So that's great. Now, this thing, very good. Very good. But... Before we go to that, what do we got here? Ooh. Ooh. Bam. That's upside down. Bam. God damn. We have here number 194, Monarch V2. Full channel, no speed channel. This thing's pretty good. Honestly, JK, I know you're watching this. I know you are. Hi, friend. Uh, I would like to tell you personally, this is a lot better than the V1. A lot better. A lot better than the V1. This thing flips pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of little minute details that I've noticed uh, as I've been having, you know, the, the enjoyable flipping time of having this for a few days, question mark. Um, this definitely has a lot better value than the V1. It flips a lot better than the V1, and it looks better than the V1. And I commend you for that. Just not the price point. That's it. If it wasn't so expensive, I might even buy one. This thing's pretty good. I don't hate it. It's not bad. Uh, tolerance check. Right? So, tolerances are good. Tolerances are good. Sound. Shit. All right, sound very good, flip good, good balance, very neutral. All right. It's good. I like this. Would I rate the clone higher than the real thing? In this case, yeah. Honestly. It's between the price and the flipping experience, as this doesn't really need a whole lot to be pretty close to the real deal. Um, I remember when I first got the live blade, I was like, or actually not even the live blade. When I first got the trainer, I was like, damn, that's kind of thick. You know, these handles are beefy, but they're not. And the difference is, if you look at the bottom of these handles, right, it has something similar to the Tachyon 3, which is at the top, it's more blocky. And as you go down, you're going to see a V slope going all the way down to where the bottom of the handles are a lot more rounded than the top, which are very square. Now, the difference in that is the ha the the handle, the knife will feel a lot thinner. Or the handles will feel thinner. I think I actually had it right the first time. It's whatever. The handles will feel thinner, right? The, fan the handles won't feel that thick. And when I took this, and I took this, right, and I put them side by side, they're the same thickness. I mean, the, the, or sorry, not the exact same, but the 
They're they're pretty fucking close. The the clones are like the teeny tiniest bit thicker. And the difference in the handle feel and when actually flipping is just the fact that this doesn't have any extra rounding at the bottom. It's the same thickness as the top. So, if you don't care about the anno and you round the bottom, oh, you're looking good. Oh, you're looking real good. This thing is really, really good. Um, the one did something really smart. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the big speed channel on this. Now let me explain to you why it's there. Grade 4 titanium heavier. Take more weight away from a speed channel that's a lot bigger than it typically is on other knives and the real one. More weight reduction. Make it flip very, very similar to the real deal. In terms of weight and balance. Because Monarchs have a pretty short blade compared to handles. If you have it enclosed... That's a pretty substantial difference in how much handle there is compared to the blade. And that's why it's such an exaggerated tanto with all that tip weight, right? It makes sense. So you can still fan, right? You can still do all your fans, still do all your rollovers and have it not feel super weird, right? And the one, understanding that, because, you know, he's been messing with uh, his clones lately. Especially that Sarah. Especially that new Sarah, though. But this doesn't have a whole lot of a uh, handle at the ends, and it's because there's not a whole lot of blade due to length, and because grade four titanium is heavier than grade five, you don't have to put as much titanium at the ends of the handles to equal the real deal using grade five, which is fucking so smart. So this flips pretty similar i'm not gonna lie if it wasn't for the thickness right these would flip very close the balance is on point this very neutral and this very neutral with the teeny tiniest ever so slight amount of blade that's sick that's really fucking cool that's awesome this this thing right here I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. And you don't want to hear it. This beats the Chab. You know, the king of clones? In my opinion, this gives you a better flipping experience than any blade shape of the one Chab. Any of them. The floating washer system is finally very, very good by the one. They made leaps and bounds from the Orca. Or the Orca clone, sorry, let me, let me make sure I, I say that. Leaps and bounds from the Orca clone. This thing's nuts, right? The tolerances, like no handle play, out of box, no tap, no, or not no, but very, very, very minimal wiggle. Looks good. Flips good. Very fucking sharp. This thing is disgustingly sharp. Like, like I want to throw up in my mouth kind of sharp. Bobber, kurva. Bobber. Hey, kurva, bobber. Bobber, nie spierdalaj, mordo. Bobber. Yo, pierdol. This is very good. This is very, very, very good. And there's no pinching. Unlike the new, or the, not the new, the old, the one Chab clone, right? Because pinless. And it's about the same thickness as a Chab clone. This thing's hella good. Like, really good. And the trainer blade option is better than the Chab trainer option. Because the Chab trainer completely changed the balance. This thing is only a little different. It's not that far off from the lie blade. It's a teensy bit more handle due to a slight less tip weight, but can still fan, can still do rollovers just fine. This thing's very good. I, I highly, I have not said that yet, I don't think for a clone. I highly recommend the one Monarch V2 clone. Highly recommend it.
whether you like trainers, whether you like live blades. Because as you guys know, I've had videos with clones where I only recommend the live or the trainer. I recommend both. These are both very solid, very, very good. You know, my opinion's cool and all though, right? And you know, you clicked on this video for me, but I'm gonna do a funny and I'm gonna give it to someone else. Like, you know how other people are like, yo, here's a feature and shit. So I'm doing that. Um, here's this stupid motherfucker with his opinion. Okay, what's good? Um, <laughs> Jack, fuck you. You wanted me to do this again, you little cunt. All right, Monarch V2. Mm, look at that. So what we have here is a Monarch V2. Great, great clone. Probably the best on the market. You know what? In fact, the best in the market. I don't think I have, well, I have a third knife on me. I don't know what it is. I have, to, ah, yes. So, Chab clone, you know, quintessential standard, <laughs> quintessential standard of the Bally Song clones community. Not anymore. Now we have this. Durability wise, Chab's gonna be better. Flippability wise, this thing kinda shits on it. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty puggers. But yeah, no, um, fanning is god tier with this thing. Um, fuck you, Jack, you made me record this, re record this. So, um, you're no longer sexy, you're stink, but I, I want to be back in another video, so I love you. But yeah, no, this thing's awesome. Um, Handle gap, I've been flipping this thing pretty avidly for like a month and a half now. Doesn't seem to have changed. In fact, actually, hold on. You stay, no, 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 no. You stay there. I, I have another one of these still in a sheath. Marijuana, marijuana. But this one is my friend's, so we can do a handle gap comparison because that's all you guys care about on the Reddit. So this is what a brand new one looks like. This has not not been flipped. I, I'm telling you now, it has not been flipped. And this is the one that has been flipped. They're identical. Here's this one's distance, and close distance, and here's this one, and the close distance. Okay, so it's closed a little bit more. But not that bad, right? So, cool. So there's that question. Nobody's shown that. So I'm the first for that, so you're welcome. Other than that, um, tolerances. I have not tuned this thing today, but here you go. <clears throat> no tap. Feels good, yada yada. Um, this should be everything I need to tell you guys, but uh, yeah, don't let me speak for it. Let Jack do, because he made the review on this and he made this possible. So, thanks again, Jack. Um, I I hate you, but I love you. You're you're a cute guy, but you won't show me your face. But yeah, no, this thing's a great, great, great knife. Um, anything else you need from me, Jack? Jack. Jack. Wow, isn't he a treat? Man, he's um great. He's great. This is what he yeah, he's great. 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 Um thank you friend? I guess I, do we are we friends? I don't know if we're friends. I don't know if we're friends, but thank you for your contribution for my bad video. But yeah, I mean that's about it, really. Um let's see. Don't recommend too heavy. Very good, not as good as Live Blade. Live Blade heavy recommend. This thing too expensive, but still very good. Good job, Julian. Uh, I know even with me saying that, you're still gonna really not like this video. That's okay. I'm okay with that, I don't really fucking care. I'm going to show you the Monarch clone, and there is nothing you can do about it. I'm going to hand you a Monarch clone, and you are going to flip it at Blade Show. This is not a threat, this is a promise. But yeah, I mean, that's about it for this video. Um. I don't really have anything else to talk about, really. And, of course, now the wind is picking up. Um, video on this guy soon. Um, I need to make it. Because uh, good knife. I like a lot. I like this a lot, but you probably won't. Um, I think that's it, though. Um, leave your comments. Leave your questions. I'll answer them. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, again, shout out to everybody who helped in the process of making this video. It could not have been done without any of you. And everyone, please go follow them, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, all of them are, uh, epic, and they play Fortnite. Um, so yeah.
That's about it though. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let me place this down nicely. We're not we're not beating any knives today.